So when it comes to like craft, how do you go about um, developing a character when you get one? Do you have a process? Um, do I have a process? Because I was talking, I was talking to another actor of mine, and I was mm -hmm. talking about how um, sometimes actors think a lot of new actors or it can be seasoned. Sometimes they think it's just about saying the lines. How do you feel about what an actor job is like? Or what are we creating in this character? Is it you know backstory? Or do you think people should just come and say their lines and go about their business? <laughs> I think just backstory would be helpful. Like, for example, let's talk about regrets. Uh -huh. I did not come on to I didn't wasn't at the very beginning, so I didn't read the whole script. Right. But I came in and you said my character is this, this, that. And I said, OK, so me and Omar, we sat there for like an hour, hour and a half before we shot. And we went over. OK, why do we do this? OK, OK, well, now we understand my character did this because this happened and the other events followed. So we had to go through on set and create the backstory so that right. by the time the cameras came on it was coming from some place yeah. not just flat just the lines being said it was definitely coming from a different place where we had an understanding what's my relationship to you why am i angry why am i upset what do i want what's my objective mm -hmm. and what's relation to anything else that's happened with our characters so we have to figure out backstories yeah. that's important for the character and you give it your own little spin i mean the director may give you the backstory per se, but you can also create further, go deeper into it yes. as well and take yeah. more just ownership of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel is go back to what you said about the cast, um, you know, being typecast mm -hmm. when they're like that. I, for example, would turn down roles if I knew like this one production company would always have me as like a best friend of someone. I mean, yeah. we're friends or something in yeah. real life. So it's always good to get us together just because we had that natural chemistry, like, you know, chop it up, whatever. Right. But I didn't always want to be just that best that friend yeah. or just this type of role. Mm -hmm. So then I also make sure when I write my films, it's not just a certain genre. Gotcha. I'm not just writing silly your daddy my big daddy or yeah. fighting movies like no games i have now i have a human trafficking one okay for red light so i make sure and i'm always acting in my own film so i make sure i give myself different characters mm. and people won't always directors won't always see a certain actor if they keep seeing you this one role they'll only see you as this one yeah. character mm -hmm. what i started doing and people started taking notice i started doing photo shoots because yeah. people don't see you unless they yeah, see you, see you. <laughs> it's like it's a difference so then i had people hit me up i never saw of you as this kind of character yeah. but you had this one picture up i think you can do that because they saw a picture yeah. i did it's like a character you create right. characters that people couldn't see outside of that right is is typecasting necessary is it is it a bad thing that people are typecast i don't want to be typecast i'm just because <laughs> 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 it's so much i feel like it's so much more to like, me and the actors I, like I, I think it's a problem but Sometimes, not some, but it's like, all right, this a character play. This guy plays this character. Is it because it's, they they play this character so well, or they people just can't see out of the physical aspect of like a drug dealer or right? Or, and that's the know, thing; they whatever. might be presenting themselves that way, and they played it so well. I mean, of course, same character if it's like a series, yeah. you have to keep that same character. But if they're playing it so well, and you want to get away from that, like I had some people with a cop. Oh yeah, I played a cop of quite a few times. I can do this role, but it's not even challenging them anymore because it's what they've been playing. So right. are you really being challenged as an actor to push, you know, to push the limits to how far you can go? Yeah. So why not just do a photo shoot or just try, like you said, write your own characters, write yeah. your own films and create something just to extend you out or else you'll get passed by for other roles that you possibly could play. But because you're just a drug dealer all the time, they only see you as this bad guy on the street. Mm. They don't see you for the businessman yeah. or for the cop role or for yeah. the dad figure. They only see you like this yes and so then i think you just limit yourself and i say Absolutely. don't limit yourself and that's why i don't do that service much as as much as now but i that's why i created a service where um i was encouraging actors to create scenes for themselves to work on their reels so some people have reels and you know mm -hmm. they're in films you can create reels and it's like oh if you haven't been in you know that many films why don't you take you know write a page or two of a different kind of character you know film it professionally and you know build up your reel that way so you don't become typecast you know what i mean you don't fall into this line of just like uh this is all i yeah. see this person you know what i'm saying but um 
I think it's that's why I think it's also important to have different experiences, to try different attire, you know, be in different places, show people that you are well rounded and you are versatile just in life. And because a lot yeah. of times you get, you know, me personally, mm -hmm. I tell people even if you see a casting and you don't fit this role, still submit, still audition mm -hmm. because sometimes just seeing you perform sparked so many different ideas so many characters i literally created characters for people that had nothing to do with anything just from looks or just from, right That's you true. know the way they move and stuff like that so you know you gotta just stay on your game you know what i mean and push yourself out there even rotate between different production companies yes. like i see some people work with the same people all, all the, the time, time. Yeah. i like to branch off so i don't like to stay yeah. with two the same production company too long Can't. i yeah. like to like you move around to, and you have to and get out there to. yeah you have to man because we all coming up together. We all know different people. And if you just stay in the same circle the whole time, I think it can kind of limit your, your, your growth, growth to yeah, a certain exactly. extent.